Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Nix OS and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and search for Nix OS and then go to the first link which is the official website and download the latest version of Nix OS. For this video I'm going to download the GNOME version and once you have downloaded the Nix OS ISO file open another tab and search for Rufus and then download the latest version of Rufus now once you have downloaded both files you need to insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB or more and after that go to your downloads directory and open Rufus now select the Nix OS ISO file which is just downloaded and for the partition scheme you can select GPT leave everything as it is and click on start now this process is going to take a while so I'm going to cut this part so finally this process is completed now close Rufus and close everything now right click on your start menu and open disk management now go to your correct drive and right click on the largest local disk and select shrink volume now give about 20, 40 gb of free space for nix os and click. now once you have allocated the free space for nix os close disk management and now it's time to restart the computer and boot from the usb also make sure that the secure boot is disabled on your bios you can search a guide for that now while your computer is starting press escape key or f12 key depending on your bios to boot into the boot selection mode now select the usb option from the list and it will start booting into the nix os iso file so finally we have booted into the installer of nix os so first of all you need to connect to your internet and then close the installer and relaunch the installer again Now choose your installation language, your time zone and then your keyboard layout. Now fill in your user information with your password and then choose your desired desktop environment. I'm going to choose GNOME. Now make sure that the unfree software option is checked and for the partitions make sure that the correct drive is selected from the top if you have multiple drives and choose the option which says replace a partition and select the free space which we created on windows and for the bootloader installation make sure that it is selected on the windows EFI partition. Now it will give a brief summary of your installation and then you need to make sure that everything is okay and select install now this process is going to take some time so I'm going to fast forward this part so finally the installation is completed now check the restart now button and click on finish and it will automatically restart into the next OS so if it doesn't then go to your BIOS menu and set the boot priority of next OS to be on the top now whenever your computer starts it will show a system D boot menu to choose between the operating system for now I'm going to choose Nix OS to see if it is correctly installed so as you can see we are able to boot into Nix OS now let's try to reboot into Windows to check if our Windows is working correctly or not
so as you can see we are also able to boot into windows so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you